and the view history or uh, you can uh, see this step process is the default step procedure only and uh, see when i click this uh, virtue see this uh, activity icon is going to change and uh, when i select as a participant it's a person name uh, it's shown so it's a uh, by default so uh, it will go go that it will change that uh, icon okay so the testing the uh, what you i'm selecting here and uh, after that uh, i'm going to select this routing and uh, okay so in this activity step the second is the parameter okay so okay so the last time uh, we have not saved this let's create some parameter also name and uh, dob and uh, employee id department it's a type of name string time employee is the integer department is the string also so name dob employee id and department okay that is fine now uh, we have created the four and in the loan step uh, okay the one more thing we missed attachment is the account document accounts uh, also that's fine it's a non array only if i'm going to select this and uh, then uh, department i'm going to see here and uh, in this loan step only also uh, we have like this uh, department and here uh, on this way also we can put the accounts department as accounts okay so uh, in that we have done this now if you are see in this uh, teams uh, step these steps are shown here and uh, you can select all but if you want to uh, then select the only read permission then select all and put the only read so no need to uh, show the no need to do the permission as a edit if you if it is uh, not in the requirement or if you want to uh, put okay it's optional actually okay and uh, here also you can uh, change the access right uh, on a one by one so the name the dob we can put on a second position department employee ID, department accounts okay that's fine if you are to check as a uh, if you are clicking on a routing uh, then uh, uh, you know from this uh, activity step from this team step till that uh, we have not created any routing that's why it's so negligible but if you are click on a loan uh, step and select on the routing see the one right routing is there okay so again clicking on teams and uh, put the uh, clicking on assignment so the same at assignment is uh, as we seen before here but because in this launch step only the after completion but uh expect the launch step all step having the two uh execution before or the after because launch step uh, is the first step so before execution is not there and but if you are seeing in this uh, uh, activity uh, here we here we can see the before execution or the after execution both executions are there and uh, the deadline if you want to put this uh, step as a deadline means uh, uh, let's suppose let's suppose workflow is being launched and uh, uh, like that this uh, this is a teams uh, and this is for the it teams or the hr team so HR team, uh, you can see, and HR team have not approved this till till that three days. Okay. So you can uh, put as a deadline. Uh, you can create the deadline uh, 
sub map also so who is called uh, who is called after the three days door so here you can select this so uh, deadline sub map custom attribute you can also create some custom attribute if you want and the descriptions also we have discussed uh, last time so advanced is basically uh, it's using for this map map what is execute before the map execution what is execute on saving the uh workflows of the map and what is execute after completion of the map here you can select any different uh, map okay and uh, this uh, routing also we can see routing means uh, uh till that launch step and the hr team okay till that because only a one routing is there but uh, uh let's suppose i am going to create a one more activity step is there and uh, this is related to uh, pro uh project manager okay and uh, select as a same testing queue or we can select as a training uh, also or the test queue we can mention means suppose that this is the work queue is for the project manager so here uh, the which one which options is uh, needed to select uh, that you can select in the parameter also uh, you can put as a c and put uh, no need to put as a edit so that's fine routing is also empty till that assignment uh, MPT deadline these things are uh, that's fine and uh, create a one more routing here so if you guys able to see we have a two routing so uh, now we are going to create a one more data field it's a team for the department is uh, department is i think fine so uh, if you are able to see uh, after the execution of the launch step, we have uh, hard coded the value of the department. So in this routing, we can put the condition. Conditions means uh, because we have a two routing is there, one for the HR team and one for the project manager. So what is the conditions uh, of that? Which you can say in the place of PM, you can select the account team. So now we are having the two team. Okay, one for the HR and one for the uh, one for the account. So I'm also removing the team here. So one for the HR and one for the account. So it's basically it's a department. So uh, let's suppose uh, uh, I go uh, the workflow is being launched and I go to the department as a uh, uh, I got the department as a uh, account only. You can say, or uh, uh, this uh, the thing we have hard coded. I'm going to remove this. See, so and uh, in the loan step, in the journal and account is also uh, the department is also. Yeah, now now that's fine. So now we can edit the condition here. So the condition is based on the variable. So the department and it's equal to the HR. And click on a add and see. Now you can uh, put this in a double quotes. Okay, this is the first condition. This is the second condition also will be the same, but only uh, the value is going to change account and uh, put is put in the double quotes okay and uh, uh okay that's fine till that uh, we are going to save this so this uh workflow let's check is the session is expired or not it's not expired till that so let's uh, save this in the file net only so click on a file net click on a add new and uh, let's browse this 
So select the right object store, which you want to select. So uh, I'm going to create a one folder here with the name of test. We're going to finish directly. And uh, open this and select this. See, uh, now check the path, click on the next. So now the document, now this uh, uh, workflow is going to save with the name of the test. Okay. And class is a workflow definition because all workflow is going to save in the uh, name of the workflow definition only. And if you are clicking on a file and click on a file, net, see all options will visible here and just click on a file and save in the next time. Okay. So this is a, uh, uh, on uh, on this session we have seen uh, how we can use the activity step okay uh, okay that's all guys uh, uh, we'll see you on the next session thank you